Uh, hello everyone, welcome back to some more Hollow Knight. Okay, so we got almost all the charms, etc, etc, and we are deciding to head on off to go and finally get the Dreamers. So, I've been doing some thinking over the, um, the surprising amount of time that has passed since I did some commentary due to the fact that I temporarily was down with the good old virus. Yeah, so, um, getting back, deciding what we gonna do. So, we're gonna get the last of the grubs here, it's gonna be a biggie, and after we do that, we're going to go and, um, what else do we need to do? First off, I need to check out my build, because, um, I've been playing a lot of Hollow Knight between when I last recorded, and, I don't know, my build, uh, feelings sometimes change. This is definitely a good build on healing, but, um... We'll definitely want the quick focus for the next, um, segment, but, um, I'm trying to think if I want to use a different build. I'll just go with this for now, that's fine. This is definitely a good build. Uh, as you know, I have nothing against, uh, heal-heavy builds, because those tend to be good. So, uh, you know. Can't say anything against it. Anyway, what we're gonna be doing is gonna be headed towards the Watcher Knights. Now, the Watcher Knights are a pretty fun boss battle, um... Not exactly the best, but they're uh, they're pretty fun. I can't get a grasp a grasp on the, the highest wall there, unfortunately, which is really too bad. But it is how it is, is how it goes. So yeah, no. Uh, anyway, yeah. So heal heavy build. Got our weavers. Anyway, so now we are off to finally do this good old mission. So the Watcher Knights are up this way. There's also a Grub up here, which is part of the reason we're doing this. Uh, and so we're doing we're doing the Grub, we're doing all that kind of fun stuff. I also recently started playing the PC version of this game. And uh, one of the things I really like about the PC version are the number of mods you can make to the game. One of my favorite mods has to be... Um, it really just has to be the fact that you can have infinite charm notches. That's going to be what I'm thinking I'm going to do for my next walkthrough, is I'm going to do infinite charm notches. Because I've yet to do that, and I think it would be a lot of fun to do infinite charm notches, since I haven't done it yet. Um, for you guys, I think it will be a lot of fun. Now, if you're curious about Steel Soul Mode, I did play through uh, Steel Soul Mode with no commentary while I was down with the disease. And uh, I had a lot of fun doing that. I was e easily able to complete the whole game in Steel Soul mode, so it's definitely doable. There's no uh, there's no question about that one. So I think that's definitely a good uh, good thing to give a shot for if you uh, if you've yet to try it out. I think that um, trying out Steel Soul mode can be very fun. That said, we now need to quickly change out our charms for this build coming up here. I actually think thorns are pretty good, so I'm going to keep thorns on. I might drop grub song, um, depending on what we want to do for the next part. We're dropping the weavers, we're dropping the heart, and what we mainly want to do with this build is we mainly want to go for the quick focus and the shape of own along with thorns of agony. Now from here, we then want to cause the most damage possible, so I'm thinking more... Unbreakable Strength would be, uh, Fragile Strength, whatever, would be good. Of course, Quick Slash would be helpful, but not completely necessary. Two more slots, so I'm thinking we might go here. Or we could go heavy on this instead. Spore Shroom can be useful in this battle, along with, um... Defender's Crest I could just use, or I guess I could just be using Grub Song. I think we'll go with this build instead. Okay, so this is a heal-heavy build. Once again, you know I'm a heal-heavy person, and my nail does pretty great damage at this point, so that all works. That all works fine, so that's that's a good plan. The uh, the strength is actually a really useful charm that I hadn't really tried out until I got into the PC version of the game, and basically the strength just gives you an extra... It's basically an extra nail upgrade, so when you already have your nail fully upgraded, it becomes, you know, so deadly. I guess it's everybody's favorite charm, but I kind of, because of that, was always not that interested. Maybe that's what happened? I'm not sure. Anyway, um, yeah, so, sadly, I no longer have my ability to gather Geo. What a shame that is. And I should probably unlock this next, uh, section quick over here. Quick Caesar. Yeah, okay. Before this guy runs into me. 
yeah, so if you unlock this section, it's kind of a shortcut across part of the city, but I feel like you get to this area so late in the game that the shortcut's not really necessary. Well, I guess you can come here early. You can actually come here before you ever have, um, before you ever have wings, you know, double jump, you can come here. So the grub is over here, first of all. So let's quickly, um, grab our, um, good old heal up there. So that'll be helpful. Yeah, as I said, infinite charm notches is what I'm going to do for you guys next. Because what I'm going to go for is I'm going to go for a, um... I'm going to go for that, um, as my next walkthrough, definitely. And we'll do Steel Soul Mode after that, I believe. But I want to do that so we can get the true ending. I've decided on this playthrough, I mean, you guys have known how I've gone on about the White Palace. Whether or not I should be doing that. Uh, the real question I then asked myself after thinking about the White Palace was, um, was not just the White Palace, but, um, what am I trying to say? Not just the White Palace, but then, um, if it's worth it, because really all it's getting you is the ability to get the true ending, you know? And so the true ending, of course, comes about when you, um, well, um, yeah, so the true ending really comes about when you beat the Radiance, but I have, like, a hard time beating the Radiance, so then I kind of am like, eh, you know, I don't want to have to do that version of it here. Instead, I'll, um, I'll just do it, I'll do it my way here with the Infinite Charm Notches for the next walkthrough. So, sadly, we'll probably be getting the bad ending then. I can still change my mind, but, um, probably won't happen, so, you know. Anyway. But yeah, this we still got plenty of fun left, so we're dream nailing this guy in order to get a lot of extra soul, because we want full soul coming into the Watcher Knights fight. Due to the developer intended strat of knocking down the chandelier, we were able to um, get a good start on this by taking out one of the six Watcher Knights. Alright, so here's how this fight's going to work a little bit. There are going to be about two of these at a time. And so they roly-poly their way around here. And you can use spells, or you can just nail them to death. And as soon as they start to be a problem, it's a good idea to start, you know, um, rolling away and uh, doing your heal focus, okay? So make sure to go heal heavy. Um, if you get hit, it's okay, because you can still heal. And everybody, just stop hitting me. Ah, get out of here, Watcher Knight. If all else fails, just hit them in the face. That works pretty well. They take a lot of damage from a lot of things. So, you know. Anyway, the Watcher Knights are never that big a challenge. You can use a lot of different charm combos. If you want to go Shaman heavy, they are very vulnerable to spells. It's always a good idea to go for that. That works pretty well. Um, yeah, anyway. They're, as I was saying all that, they're, they're all already dead. I mean, we have all the nail upgrades. We have Unbreakable, uh, not Unbreakable Strength. We have Fragile Strength. Saying fragile strength just doesn't sound as good, does it? <laughs> anyway, um, so we got the strength, so that's helpful. Here's the Watcher's Knight's chest. It's got 600 and some Geo in it, I believe. Let's see, 650 or so? Okay. Anyway, there's a Hollow Nest Seal, so that's always nice. Anyway, um, but yeah, so we have defeated the Watcher Knights. Now we can go face our first Dreamer. I've waited pretty late in the game to get around to the Dreamers, but it's okay. Because we all understand. We all understand the need to prioritize other things. But yes, as I was saying, uh, White Palace is going to be a no-go. So if you guys were so psyched for the White Palace, we're going to have to wait around for the next walkthrough to cover that one. But be warned, I am going to be doing a lot more commentary. So, you know. If you hate it, there's going to be more of it. Yeah. Anyway, you can do a brief, like, telescope look through here. This, for some reason, reminds me of, like, a scene in Symphony of the Night, you know? Is that scene where he, like, you know, looks, um, like, where you can be, um, I'm trying to remember what I'm trying to say. Why can't I speak today? So, um, there's that, there's that one scene, you know, in, um, in Symphony of the Night that's like that, where you can look down and see, like, Shaft on the boat or whatever. Anyway, uh, yeah, so you slash the Dreamers a few times, and then you just do a heal, and then that absorbs their, uh, their essence or whatever. It's not essence because I don't get points for it. <laughs> uh, yeah. But, uh, yeah. So, um, I do recommend Steel Soul Mode because we're definitely still going to do that. So, no worries on that front. 
But yeah, that's our first dreamer. I think we're probably just going to do them in order, and we're going to just take them out one by one here until they're all dead, because why not? And clearly we're going to buy that last charm from Leg Eater in addition to getting all the grubs to get the final charm. So that'll be a whole thing. Um, yep, we did get 1800 essence. And I'm also going to fight the white defender, but not in this playthrough, in the next playthrough. Um, so if you guys are all excited about white defender, he'll be showing up there too. I'm also going to show off the boss um, rush in God Holmes in the other walkthrough. So... Um, I don't want to disappoint you guys too much, but, um, basically what I'm saying is the content of this walkthrough, we're going to go, we're going to finish off the dreamers, we're going to finish off the game, get our 100% of the grubs, see that rather creepy ending with the grub father, and wonder if, you know, what really happened there. I won't spoil that ahead of time, unless I just feel like it, um, and, uh, yeah, um, we're going to do all that kind of stuff coming up, so we still got plenty of fun to have here. And, uh, yeah, so, anyway, thank you guys for, uh, oh, man, I was forgetting this was a hard save. Ah, oh, why did I forget the dreamers were a hard, oh, come on, man, how could I forget this? Whew. Thought I could bench warp, and if I had a mod, I could, but, you know, clearly I'm playing the Switch version, so, no mods on that one. At least I can slash the dreamer in the face a few times. Yeah, that's for not letting me warp out of here. <laughs> Okay, I guess we got another minute or two of uh, talking to be done then, since I can't warp out of here. Which normally I would remember, but somehow when I'm doing the commentary, I can't always remember what I would normally remember. You know what I'm saying? It's ridiculous, man. Ridiculous. Okay, so. Yeah. Here's the Watcher Knights. Here's the one that got killed by the chandelier. Poor buddy. Yeah, we can just fall down here. Don't land on me, elevator. I'm too small and meek to be crushed. I also keep getting used to Sharp Shadow, you know? I mean, like, I'd never wear the charm without, like, infinite notches, but once you have infinite notches, you're like, hmm, Sharp Shadow. Like, the best thing ever. Yeah, infinite notches are nice. <laughs> you just get so addicted to it. It's one of those charms where you, like, you know, get used to breaking things with it, and you're like, ah, that's cool. Anyway, we're gonna go and save on this bench over here. We already got through our cheese with the Soul Tyrant, of course. You guys remember that, so... That was fun. And yeah, we're just making it to a bench, swapping out our charms. And, uh, yeah, we're taking care of the last of the grubs, of course. Um, can't believe you took two hits. Ridiculous. Okay, we're gonna quick swap out some of these charms. And yeah, then I will be seeing you guys next time. I guess we'll swap out our charms in the next video. So, stay tuned. And I will see you all later.